before we run out of time this morning is the statement of cash flows. So with the statement of cash flows, you use that to connect the income statement and the balance sheet together, making certain adjustments. In other words, what on the income statement has did not have the cash effects that are captured on the balance sheet, but aren't necessarily captured on the income statement and make it so that the three pieces of the puzzle all fit together. The balance shows the the balance sheet shows the cash accounts at a point in time. The income statement shows what's happening. Sometimes there's non-cash expenses in there like depreciation as we described. So essentially the cash flow statement shows the cash that comes from the operating activities, which means cash that comes in, that comes from customers, net of the cost of goods sold, net of the expenses, but then Depreciation was not cash, if you remember, if it was from a prior purchase in a prior period. So you add the cash back into the, the, instead of depreciation, you take that out and you make the cash back into that because you did not have to pay that depreciation. It's a non-cash expense. So your cash from operation is adjusted for things like um, changes to different assets on the balance sheet and the change to depreciation. Then you have the investing activities. You might have spent cash to actually buy another truck or something like that. So you have to say, okay, cash account was wiped out because we went and bought this other piece of equipment and we bought whatever. And because of that, your cash for that period of time is less than would have been shown in your income statement. You bought something, but you did not account for it. And then the last piece is you might have gone out and raised some money from investors or you might have borrowed money from the bank. So you from financing activities you get some cash into the business. So the statement of cash flows tries to take the income statement and the balance sheet doesn't try to. It takes the income statement and the balance sheet and it adjusts for the cash effects so that you know for sure how much cash you have spent, went out the door, how much cash came in the door, and then how much cash is left over. All right. So with that, we'll wrap up uh, for this morning. Uh, sorry, it went a little bit longer than expected. Um, and then we'll continue with uh, the analyzing the financial statements. Um, these, uh, these will all be, this is all being uh, recorded. So we'll upload these, uh, these pieces um, also for you to take a look at at a later date. Okay. Thanks a lot. And we will, um, I, I guess it's 1150, so we'll run right now. But we will, um, <clears throat> I'll see you all on Monday. Look forward to it. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, we'll wrap this up for now and we'll see you all on Monday. Take care.